This is the pony. And this video is brought to you guys by Rockform. It is one of the best motorcycle phone carrier cases that you can possibly have. We couldn't put on this, this thing because there's no place to put it on and it's a scooter. What's up guys, I'm Sean from SRK Cycles. I normally don't review scooters. I just don't get them in very often. But we did this one for another video for our other channel, the Bikes and Beards channel. And uh, the, the video was we bought the cheapest street legal scooter that we could buy on Amazon. And we got exactly what we paid for. Um, it was like, I think just, just under 800 bucks, like 70, 795 bucks to get this thing shipped to our door. It's, uh, it's made by a company called Tao Tao, Tao Tao Tao. And it really is uh, fairly cheap. They have been making this bike for about 10 years. And they did clone, it, they, I think they cloned a Honda engine. Uh, every, anytime they, the Chinese clone something, they, they normally clone a Honda engine. This is considered the GY6 engine platform. And you access it, you pop this thing up, pull a couple bolts out, you can see the motor right there. And it is a pretty uh, easily modifiable engine. I think this thing is going to need a new carburetor to make it better. It barely does 25-30. And it's, it is pretty cheap. It, it does feel pretty cheap. They call this thing the pony, which is kind of a, you know, kind of like the girliest thing you can call. But it kind of fits it. It kind of fits the bike. Uh, it also comes in pink. We got, the, we got the John Deere green version of it, which kind of, I thought it, I, the goal was to make it look more like a tractor. And it, I didn't really accomplish that. So let's go over some of the features of the bike. One, one of my favorite features of this thing, if you look on the other side, I'll just turn around. One thing, it's super light. I think it weighs less than 200 pounds, but it does have a kickstart. Now that to kickstart, it, it's gotta be up on the center stand. Turn the key. Oh, you, gotta, you have to hold in the brake to do it. All right, the kickstart doesn't work. That was my favorite feature and now this bike is dead to me. Another cool feature, I couldn't get this plastic piece to really sit and flush, but they, that would look better if it was on there. This right here, to hold your grocery bags when you're driving around on, on your scooter. There's another one down here, also to hold your grocery bags. There's also a random hole right here. It kind of looks like a burn hole, and same with this. Also <laughs> looks like a burn hole. I wonder if there's, it's, it's got messed up, I don't know, maybe, no, maybe, it's, a, that's, maybe it's a drip hole. For, uh, for water to seep through. Pull that up, the seat pops up, and there you got the, uh, the engine and the carburetor. So the bike is super cheap. Well, I have no idea whether it's reliable. I don't even know whether it's worth your money. We're gonna keep on riding it. We're gonna keep on beating the thing up, try to enjoy it. Uh, we are gonna modify it a little bit. But if you look online, there are a lot of people that say that they've had these things for you know, a couple thousand miles, 10,000 miles. And if, you, if this thing lasts 5,000 miles, I would say it's worth it. I'd say it's 100% worth it at, at that kind of price. You never see scooters with that many miles, and especially not small displacement scooters. It, it, it tops out at 25 miles an hour. You know, you're not riding this thing more than an hour a day, you know? So, let's go take it for a spin. All right, guys, let's do the words of wisdom real quick. John 15, 7. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Amen. Put on the uh, M1 Moto gloves, even though this thing does not go fast enough to actually hurt you. It's more of a statement. All right, let's ride this beast monster. The pony. Uh, I think I may have said this before, but this is the uh, probably the crummiest thing I've ever driven. Although, from talking to people, on the internet this bike this little bike has potential apparently the carbs are junk from the factory you put a new carb on it I was looking at new carbs you put a new carb on it it's like 30 bucks pretty easy it's very it's very accessible so you put a bigger carb on it makes them a lot better so apparently it's got potential but as of right now yeah it's slow it's faster than walking and if for some reason you don't have a light, depending on your state, it's different in every state. In Pennsylvania, you don't need a motorcycle and endorsement to ride this. But in some states, um, you don't even need any license to ride this. And even though it is super slow, it's still kind of fun. You just don't want your friends or anyone to see you riding it. That's where it gets not fun. You may ask, hey, Sean, how does that thing handle? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I've never got it fast enough to actually try it out. I mean, 
feels like it's about to fall over to be honest with you with these little itty bitty tiny tires now I, i've ridden i've ridden scooters and i've ridden scooters that you know fairly fast i've ridden a scooter that looked like this but going like you know 60 55 miles an hour it is nothing short of dangerous feeling i would much 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 rather be on a you know gsxr 600 or 1000 or a hayabusa doing 150 miles an hour than on one of these doing like 60 miles an hour and i think what it is is like the, the, the geometry of these tiny little wheels it does not feel stable there's some type of a perfect number with like a 17 inch wheel i'm not sure how that works hey look at us we're doing 27 miles an hour all right listen i'm, I'm gonna be honest there are there are a lot of reasons if this if this thing is reliable which we don't i don't know if it is or not if you, you read people online some people say they've had these things for years with the amount of money it costs i mean this thing's 700 bucks 600 700 bucks shipped to you with the amount of money that this thing would cost depending on what your other option is of driving this thing could save you that much money in fuel within a year so then if it lasts anything after that which there's no reason it couldn't this thing could be a, a pretty uh you know profitable thing to own depending on your situation now i wouldn't own it i'm just gonna be honest with you i would not own this thing not really my style but as me and the guys were talking this thing would be awesome to have if you were at the beach if you were at the beach and you're like i got a beach house you spend three thousand bucks you buy four or five of these things that would be great anyone could ride it any girl any guy any you know 16 year old kid you know 14 year old kid anyone could ride this no one's getting hurt riding this and you just have a lot of fun going to the beach doing beach stuff popping wheelies what if i could do a bunny hop no so as a, the way it's set up right now i can't actually give it full throttle if i give it full throttle it just bogs down it does have a lot more potential honestly i think because of how restrictive this carburetor is you throw a new carb in here this might feel like a whole new scooter and we're gonna do that we're probably gonna spend a hundred bucks and modify this a little bit and then maybe take it up against the honda metro and like i said before it's all about what your friends are riding if all your buddies are riding sport bikes it almost doesn't matter what you have it's not gonna be that much fun if if you have this and your buddies are riding the sport bikes that is lame that's just really really lame guys you can't you couldn't even you would never you can't keep up with them if all your buddies are riding bicycles and you're riding this you still couldn't keep up with them but if you were all riding little cheap chinese piece of junk scooters i could see that being a lot of fun you know what i mean modding them up racing them never actually hitting or exceeding the speed limit kicking each other while you're you know driving down the road at like full throttle that would be great putting funny stickers on them trying to make them look uh cool when they're never gonna be cool but you know they're never gonna be cool and people know that now i can see that being a lot of fun these things will do around a hundred miles to the gallon that's insane what's also insane is that it only does a hundred miles to the gallon considering how incredibly slow it is whoa wow all right in the uh in the uh not in my 90s but in the 90s they made a car they called the ford festiva and it was a little tiny car don't call it the uh fiesta it's not a fiesta it's the ford festiva and i had one maybe about 10 years ago and this thing had 220,000 miles on it and it got 48 miles to the gallon and this is a you know a full-size car probably weighed 1800 pounds maybe 2000 pounds uh you could seat five people um i loved it little stick shift car and it would go you know 85 90 miles an hour that thing got 45 miles to the gallon how does this thing only get double when this is 1 32nd of the size it's 1 32nd of the size and it's a bajillion times not as fast honestly this thing in my mind i feel like this thing should be getting you know 500 miles to the gallon i feel like we really kind of reached the peak back in the festiva era think about it there's a car that size not nah, a little smaller than that car so if your option is walking 
uh, it's it, it might be a good idea, and you don't have very much money, and you're like, if I had a if I had a something to get me around faster, I could get a job. Now you could also do like deliveries with this. Think about that. Maybe Grubhub, maybe put a pizza rack on the back. I'm not like that's not crazy. That's not the craziest thing to think about. If you were in a small enough uh, town or a metro enough town that you don't have to go anything over 25. Now from what I hear. If you modify these things, you can get these things up to like 45 on a flat. That's not bad. That that opens up a lot more roads. Uh, the 35 mile on the road I was getting passed up up there. Hey, if I was doing 45, well, I'd be speeding. But you know what I mean? It opens up a little more roads. Pretty much most of the roads except for highways. This is when like your buddies are all like, yo, we're getting pony cars. And they all come home with like Mustangs and stuff. And then you're like, oh, oh I thought we were getting just ponies. Dang it, I, got a, I bought a pony. Like a pony scooter. And then your one buddy actually comes home with a pony. I thought we were, I thought we said we were getting ponies. Dang it, Jake. No one's getting ponies, man. Here's the one flaw, misconception about riding a bike like this. And this is, uh, and I, I 100%, I fall into this. The only reason that you want to wear a helmet is so that people don't see who you are riding it. But you don't want to wear any gear right in this because you're like, no, nah, it's a it's a scooter. It's so slow. I can't even go fast enough to hurt myself. If I fell off right now, I'm going to get hurt. Uh, I'm still going 30 miles an hour. So it is still dangerous. If a car hits you, you're, you're still going to get hurt. It is still dangerous. But no one wants to wear full gear on something like this. I get it. I'm not even wearing my real jacket. I'm just wearing like a windbreaker. I am wearing gloves though. The saving grace is you wear a full face helmet and no one knows who you are. And then you can wear full gear and it's like, ah, eh, whatever. Guys, that wraps up this video of The Pony. We'll see you guys later. If you guys are looking for the baddest motorcycle gloves out there, these are the M1 Moto gloves. We've tested this thing, these things to like ex exhaustion. Ex does that make sense? They, they're one of the only motorcycle gloves lined with Kevlar. And these are tough, 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 tough gloves. I love them. Check out uh, the link below, but also bikesandbeardsgear.com. These are the meanest gloves out there. I actually did a video where I drug my hand for a mile and a half on the highway and it, it did nothing to the glove. It didn't even reach, it was actually this glove right here. It did that little seam thing. It didn't even reach the Kevlar. Remember, it's not what you're riding unless you're riding a pony and then it's the worst. See you guys, <laughs> but where are you going, bye.